Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at not one, but two new editions of the CSB verse-by-verse -verse Bible in the Holman Handcrafted Collection, now available in marbled calfskin. Okay, we're back with another new CSB Bible review. It's been a really good little season here for the Christian Standard Bible, particularly, particularly, particularly if you're looking for premium options. So the Holman Handcrafted Collection has now switched things over this year. They're releasing Bibles in marbled calfskin. I did an unboxing with these a few weeks ago. So this is the tan edition. It's kind of a brown edition, but it's okay. I'll just show you. I have the brown goatskin edition of this same Bible, which I've reviewed before. And you can see it's lighter than the brown goatskin. So I'll, I'll give them some credit for calling that tan. So they have a tan option. I'm going to bring this back in a little bit. We'll do a comparison. And then we have the burgundy option as well. So a couple of new colorways, and it's this beautiful marbled calfskin that I think is going to kind of wear in and patina over time. Even I've had these Bibles in the house for a few weeks. I've read through them a little bit. I've been using them. They're starting to show a little bit of wear, just a little bit, and I like that about them. It's a very nice leather. It looks great. It feels great. It's got a softness to it. I was When I did, if you missed the unboxing video, you got to check that out because I was very pleasantly surprised. I think that this new marbled calfskin notches the the Holman Handcrafted Collection up significantly and and they're only charging like I think this this bible is going to retail for $10 more than the goatskin edition. And the goatskin edition is great, but to me this leather just kind of feels a lot nicer, a lot better quality. It just kind of feels fancier and it's not that much more expensive. You know what I'm saying? So I just think there's some good options out there. They gave two new colorways. So again, this is a Bible that already exists. It's a Bible that I've already reviewed, but because of the new color, and I just wanted to spend some more time with it. I thought it would be fun to do a full review. So I'm going to do an overhead, show you what this Bible has to offer, compare it to some other things, and really help you answer the question, is this Bible right for you? Okay, here's the Holman Handcrafted Collection. CSB is this like nice bluish teal colorway. This is called the Verse by Verse Bible. You notice it has verse by verse, wide margins, cross-reference. This is the one for the marbled tan um, on the back. It's got all of the information about the features and everything in this Bible. So two colorways in this Bible, tan and burgundy. Um, the slate, I have it over here actually, the slate that comes in the personal size Bible is not available in this one yet. Maybe they'll add that. They do also have this Bible available in a brown goatskin. Here's the brown goatskin edition. And then they have a black goatskin as well. So um, I love this new calfskin that they're using. It's got a very smooth texture. You, can you see those little lines in it? It's kind of starting to age and patina. I've opened this one and closed it a bunch of times. It looks really nice. So it's smooth, but I think it's going to patina. It's going to age. It's got a nice perimeter stitch around the outside. They've done raised spine hubs this year. So previously they used tooled ribs. Now they have raised spine hubs. So you can see the one on the right is called brown goatskin, and then this one now on the bottom is the tan. So I still think it's pretty pretty brown, but it's more tan than it is that other one. Um, really nice. Three lovely ribbons. This one goes burgundy black and a brown to kind of match the cover. It's got red, a faint red under gold on the art gilding, gold line around the inside, edge lined, Smythe sewn. It looks really nice. The burgundy one is going to use the gold ribbon instead of the brown ribbon with the black. Everything else is going to be the same. It even has the gold accents on everything. Just really nice. That marbled burgundy looks super cool. So this is a big Bible. It is at the text block, six and three quarters inches, almost seven inches wide, and it's nine inches tall, but it's not too thick. It's only because it's so wide, it's only 1.6 inches thick with the cover. So it's, it's a big Bible that opens wide, but it's not too thick. Like you can carry this with you if you want to. So Opening this up, we've got a presentation page right there. Pretty simple, two, four, or sorry, presented to, by, and on. Title page, verse by verse, Bible. Which one, is this the title page or is this the title page? Most Bibles have two different pages like that. Here's the copyright page. CSB 2020 text edition. And down here you see all of the different styles that, can I get that to focus? Come on camera. Um, it's got a couple of leather touch editions. It's got a bonded leather edition, a couple of goatskin editions in the handcrafted collection. And these are the two at the bottom, the new ones, the tan and the burgundy calfskin. So 
Table of contents, intro to the CSB. I don't have a GSM on this paper that they use in the Handcrafted Collection, but it's a nice paper that has like a sheen to it. It's very opaque. There you get to the text block. Two columns of text, verse by verse, red accents for the title, the chapter numbers, the verse numbers, red accents down here in the textual footnotes, as well as the cross-references are going to be in the bottom right column, beneath the bottom right column of every single page. It has red accents for the headers and the page numbers. Let me, here's Genesis 3. So, 10-point typeface, red accents all throughout there, verse by verse. When you get to the bottom on every page, the right column is going to have your cross-references down there, and then beneath that red line is going to be your textual notes at the bottom. So if I open this up a little bit, you can see it's going to lay really wide and flat. You've got an inch of margin space all the way around. You see that red kind of showing up from the art gilding when you open it up like this. And again, when I'm looking at this, just kind of sitting above it, it's really easy to find your place because every little, every verse has a paragraph break for you. Now, what I'm not seeing in here is anything that sim symbolizes or tells us when we are starting a new paragraph. Sometimes there's a little pill crow in there or there's a slightly more bolded verse number. I'm not seeing that in this. So I'm not sure if there's a way to signify that, but very, very nice. I've preached from this Bible, one of the older editions from this Bible, and really enjoy it. Um, it looks great. It feels great. It's just a it's just a nice Bible overall. So let me bring this back up to you. We're in Jeremiah. Again, even on the left-hand page, the cross-references are all going to be at the bottom of the right column. So as you're going, no matter which page you're at, it's kind of a consistent feel. Some Bibles, they'll put this on the outside, so it's outside, outside. To me, it kind of leaves it at the end, which... It just it, it allows consistency to do that, which I think is nice. Um, this is not a red letter Bible, so when you get to the Gospels, it is still uh, black letter text. Although I did point this out in the single column video as well, there you have the bolded text when the New Testament is directly quoting the Old Testament. That's crazy. I randomly opened to this page, and this is exactly the same thing. It's Luke chapter eighteen verses 18 through 20. That's what I did in that other video as well. I hope I released that one first because it would, it would be totally out of context to say that. But um, yeah, so, and then at the end of this Bible, look right there, like Second John, such a small, quick chapter. Truth and love, right? And then we have just half a page. Revelation ends on page 13, 13. We get a quick table of weights and measures. We get the CSB concordance, same thing, three columns. Pretty nice bolded word entries. There are some red accents on the page, so for the, the headers and the page numbers, and then you see there, the you see that the C is red. So, um, and then after that, we get no lined note paper like the other one had, but you get this slightly thicker but not glossy. It's still a matte finish, Bible maps. So you can see the ministry of Jesus, the Passion Week, there's Paul's missionary journeys. So I love a good Bible map when you're reading through uh, Exodus. Then hop back here and check out the maps. You can see how far Paul went and all the traveling he was doing. I mean, goodness gracious, there's a lot going on in there. So um, yeah, these are, these are absolutely beautiful Bibles. Again, I think I shared this in the unboxing video, but this Bible right here, the Goatskin Edition, is going to be about $10 less than one of these Calfskin Editions. And I personally just think that these look a little bit nicer. They feel a little bit nicer. I mean, the insides of them are the exact same. This is very, very soft and pebbly Goatskin. This is pretty soft and floppy for Calfskin as well. And again, you see, even when I do this, can you see that? How when I roll it up, it starts to kind of wrinkle. I think it's just going to age really cool, really nice. You have to know that these are going to like have some some signs of wear, the oils from your skin. If, if you use them a lot, they're going to get some marks on them, but I think that's cool because it really makes it makes it your Bible. So, but th this is just a, a great design, a great Bible overall, and these new editions are awesome. So there you have it, the CSB verse by verse Bible now available in tan marbled calfskin and burgundy marbled calfskin. Okay, so is this Bible right for you? I would say a couple things come to mind. A, 
Are you someone, are you a preacher or a Bible study leader who uses the CSB and or wants to use the CSB? I really like verse-by-verse -verse Bibles when you are teaching or preaching because particularly the way this Bible does it with the red verse numbers juxtaposed against the black lettering of the text, it makes it really easy to find your place. So if you're preaching through a passage, if you're leading a Bible study, you're, it's easy for you to jump back and find your place. I also like the wide margins because if you are preaching or teaching and you want to take notes in this Bible and jot your jot your, some notes down while you're going through it, you have the space to do that. Overall, I, I just, I've always, ever since I first saw this layout, this design a few years ago, I've really liked it. And I think that the calfskin makes it really great. So if you are a preacher, a teacher, CSB fan, and then if you're just someone who really loves the CSB and wants a really high quality Bible to study with that has uh, that has the, the references, that has the textual footnotes, that has this big uh, wide layout with margin space and stuff like that, it, this Bible really does kind of draw me in and makes me want to read it. So I think it's I think it's a really really great option. So I'm going to post photos of these on Instagram and Facebook. If you're not following along on social media, I encourage you to click the links in the video description. Come find me. Say hello. I also encourage you to click that like button on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm also going to put links in the video description to where you can order these online. The release date, the official release date, I believe is March 15, 2024, but I've already seen them listed on Lifeway's website, Amazon, Christian Books. So I'm going to put all of those links down in the video description so you can check them out, see what the current prices are, and make a decision if you're going to purchase one of these. If you do make that decision, I would love to hear from you. So leave me a comment and let me know if you have any thoughts or questions. You can also drop those in the comments as well. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.